going on YouTube? Thanks again for joining. So today's video is gonna basically be on the finalized setup on the Ranger. I just wanted to do this really quick before we actually have a camping trip this weekend. So I kind of rushed getting everything on. Um, I would have normally done my installation videos in between, but I wasn't too confident in how I installed everything. So this is kind of just like a afterwards, just showing the things that I have on it and where they, and how I feel about it and everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. All right guys, I actually had to change locations. There was a guy that was just starting to blow leaves beside me and it was just drowning out everything I was saying. So I know this looks completely different than the last video, but everything's for justified reason. We're actually going camping this weekend and I just wanted to have everything set up. So the first elephant in the room and I'll address is that I know I said I wasn't gonna run a light bar up there. I still actually don't. Um, what ended up happening is the wind fairing that was there was just absolute garbage. Um, it was, it didn't actually sit flush to the roof. So wind caught underneath it and it was just vibrating like crazy. And it sounded like the whole roof rack was about to fall off whenever I was driving. So I just copped a cheap, Amazon light because I'm not really looking for light. I always just wanted just extra rigidity so this like this doesn't shake. And it, it's pretty bright enough. So I, I actually have no complaints about that. Um, you guys saw the pods and the range of lights in the last video. So I'm not gonna go over those. They still work great. It's been a couple of weeks and they're still holding up well. Next thing I did was add this eight foot long awning. Now, there's actually a joke behind this. Um, I actually ordered the wrong size. I didn't realize <laughs> that I clicked eight feet, but it actually mounts up pretty well and it's sturdy, you know, it's not going anywhere. So this will be great for, um, you know, sitting at camp, just want some shade and, or, you know, also the track days that I go on, um, that also helps as well. Additional stuff is just like, this stuff I actually got for free. Um, a friend of mine was trading in his Wrangler, so he had a bunch of stuff that he didn't need anymore. So I got this for free, which is good to have. These little extra pods that he had, which I turned into chase lights in the rear. And what else, what else, what else? Oh, and then this high jack, high lift jack that was, it just looks cool. Um, I know like there's like, people that have different opinions about this. Um, but it was just one of those, like, you know, it doesn't hurt to have it than to just not have it. And like I said, I didn't pay for it. So that worked out. I actually have it mounted with these uh, four rack mounts that I found on Amazon. Really sturdy, so it's really nice. Works well with the Billy Bars as well. Another main thing is I went end up with the FSR rooftop tent. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it does extend past the bed because the range of bed is only five feet. So we're about like, a, I want to say like a foot past the bed. Um, that's why I just have this because <clears throat> you, you never know. Some people are just idiots. So it's just like extra attention to the fact that it does extend past. Um, it's really comfy inside. Uh, I'm not going to open it now because I'm literally on the side of the road somewhere and that's just asking for too much attention at the moment but all in all this is where the ranger currently sits the reason why i went with the fsr tent is it's because it's actually um extremely light it's about i think uh, 110 pounds or so so that's really what um pushed it because i didn't want to have too much weight in the rear along with us because i think the rear is only rated for the payload's only like um I think 1200 pounds even though i know i'm nowhere near that it's just in case like if i start loading up the bed with anything i didn't just i didn't want to squat in too much or too much weight on the suspension in the rear so i went with like one of the lighter ones good quality ones so the free spirit one was like really nice in the first video i mentioned that um when i was installing the billy bars i wasn't able to run running boards um not running boards bed covers with it i did um find this a guy selling it um, and I was able to 
get it to work with the billy bars um, unfortunately with it to to kind of get billy bars to work sometimes with your running boards ah, keep saying running boards to get billy bars to work with the bed covers you i contacted them and they did mention that you will have to cut up the like the bracket kind of holding on the inside um i didn't i don't really have like cutting material like that so cutting tools like that so i just kind of like use a dremel and kind of went around the nuts that holds it because it kind of gives it a little bit of clearance needed to sit um and it doesn't sit flush either I could get some weather sealant just to get these little edges, but I'm honestly, I wasn't too crazy because um, I'm not gonna have anything in the bed like that that I'm worried about getting wet. Everything will be in containers. And since I have the tent on top, I figured that'll be enough coverage as well over. So it's just probably just gonna be a little bit of water that seeps in. I'll probably do that as a later project the ceiling though but that day I was doing everything I was just I was just kind of rushing and didn't want to deal with it but yeah like I said this is just a quick video just to kind of go over where the Ranger is before we go camping this weekend I like how it looks 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 nice looks like it's actually being used which is cool but um, yeah if there's anything you guys like want more information on just let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer as best as I can. And I'll see you guys next time.